So I'm finally gonna make the breakfast burritos. And because I only have one container of just egg, I'm gonna slightly modify it a little bit. So I'm adding about two tablespoons of butter. And then I've already chopped some green pepper and onion to go along with this. And so the original recipe is from moneysavingmom.com. And of course it's made with um, real eggs and I think hers calls for ham, but I always use sausage unless it was like at Easter and I had some leftover. Um, but we are making it all vegan today. And I'm really excited for my kids to try this because I used to make this a lot before we went vegan, especially whenever I was pregnant, I would make it and um, it freezes really well. I'm not sure how this will, like I know the Just Egg, um, I mean not the Just Egg, that the Impossible, that that would freeze fine. I'm just not sure about the Just Egg. But I guess that it should because like, they have the frozen Just Egg patties. So I don't know. I mean, if they really like it, it probably is it's probably not gonna be any left for me to experiment. <laughs> Um, to see how well it freezes but I used to make it a lot especially like I said when I was pregnant because it freezes really well and I would have it so we would have some breakfasts prepared for um, when I was back home from the hospital and you know it really came in handy and I had all and I had also made these as a gift for family members as well Thank you. So I'm just sauteing this right now. And I think I am gonna add a little bit of fennel. Um, the one thing about the impossible sausage, and my kids, they don't complain about the taste of it because they really love it. Um, but my husband did mention that he didn't think that the, that it didn't have like all of the seasonings for um, regular sausage and so I know when I'm cooking it like I don't really smell fennel like you do in traditional sausage and so whenever I'm cooking it if I'm using it in like spaghetti or something like that I usually add a little fennel seed just to kind of give it more of that flavor so I went ahead and added a little bit in here gonna let this cook down for a little bit and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the entire sausage roll just because the just egg container is like I think it's three servings so we'll see but I'm gonna let this cook for a little while let me show you all the yumminess I just absolutely love the smell of green peppers and onions it smells so delicious. Like, it doesn't even matter what else you're adding to it. Just that smell alone. It's so inviting. So let me go and get the sausage and the just egg out. I think I'm going to go ahead and add the entire roll. It's funny, on the just egg, it says that it's eight servings, but I mean, it barely serves <laughs> the three of my kids. I guess it depends on thank you. I guess it depends on what you're using it for, but I still don't think that eight people could eat from that unless you're doing like a scramble like this. So in a scramble then yeah. But just by itself, I don't think so.
over to the book here. All right, so I have the just egg open and I'm just gonna pour it over here and see how this works. <laughs> And I cooked it before, I would just cook the sausage in and it would scramble up just fine. I don't know if it's gonna work that way today. We are trying this thing out together. So it took this a little longer to cook um, than I thought it would. And so I think the next time I'll just cook the just eggs separately and then add it to the pan. But it looks so plain that I think I'm gonna add some of the dice. Uh oh, well, I was meaning to add about half the pan. I add a little bit more than that. But I'm gonna add this in here. It's just not too spicy. And it'll just make it look better. So right now it just looks super, super um, plain. There we go. And I've already cut it off. And I think I am going to go ahead and add cheese to a little bit of it because I know that um, Starling and Alexandra will like that. So we're going to do that. I'm going to add just a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. And a small portion of it. And that way, those who like cheese or like this cheese, they can have it. And so this is the final product. And Alexandra is here with me and she is ready to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and make her a burrito. All right. So one thing that I know is that when you overfill it, it's a lot harder to wrap. So, easier if you don't overfill it. And then I just like to tuck it and roll it. If you want to do something a little extra, if you want it a little crunchy, here you go, baby. You could grill it. But I think she's just going to eat it. <laughs> so I'm going to call in the boys so they can get started. And then whatever else is left, I think I'll just, um, I don't think I'm going to wrap them. I think I'll just put it in a container and put it in the fridge. And that way they can have it for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> How is it, Alexandra? It's is, good. Is it? All right. Well, there we have it. <laughs>
so glad that we decided to go to the Biltmore House when we did. It was such a great experience. Even though I had visited twice before, it was our kids' first time going, and so they were really excited about the visit, especially whenever they found out that it was the largest home in America. Um, I think they were a little disappointed that they didn't have access to each and every room, <laughs> but that's not allowed. But even though I had been there before, there were still so many things that I hadn't seen before, and so that was really nice. And then the fact that the Christmas movie was being filmed there were so many Christmas decorations up and it was just such a nice thing to see. There's a lot of ice. There was snow here yesterday. One of the great things about the Biltmore House is that although you can only take a very small um, purse or bag inside, the parking lot to get to the Biltmore House is not that far. We actually walked it, but if you have someone in your party that is unable to walk that far, or if you just don't feel like walking that far, they have plenty of trolleys that can take you back and forth. Um, and what I noticed was that some people actually brought their lunch with them and they were able to take the trolley back to their car and have their lunch and then come back and walk the grounds, which I thought was such a great idea. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, I should have done that. <laughs> So if there's something that you're interested in doing, definitely keep that in mind.